One of my biggest inspirations is Tyler, the creator. Now I love Tyler, the creator's creative works. Okay. He inspires me a lot as a creative, especially with my poetry and just being boundless as a creator. Okay. He's not Tyler, the rapper, Tyler, the singer, Tyler, the musician, even he is Tyler, the creator. And that's something that's really, really resonated with me as I've taken on this journey of being a YouTuber, an author, a life coach and everything else in between. Okay, he has inspired me maybe more than anyone else as far as being a creative goes. But he's also inspired me on an even deeper level. He's inspired me in terms of being myself. Okay, watching his interviews is always inspirational for me, not because of what he says per se, but because of how he says it. It's the level of confidence with which he articulates all of his sometimes drastic and extreme points of view. Okay, he speaks with a level of confidence that you can't really argue with because you understand that he's so assured in himself, he's so confident and comfortable in being himself that there's really no point in trying to dispel his self-perception. Seeing that level of confidence can only inspire me to find that level of confidence within myself so that I can come on my YouTube channel and in my books and everything like that with a certain level of conviction that it takes to get to that next level of success. Okay, if you wanna be successful, you have to have that level of conviction in your beliefs. But to an even greater extent, you have to have that level of conviction in your beliefs if you want to be happy and fulfilled in your life. Okay, one thing that I've learned from Tyler the Creator in particular is the power of being not only authentically yourself, but being unapologetically yourself. When you learn to be yourself with no regret, when you learn to understand that you are valid and you are okay as you are with the understanding that you do want to strive to do better, but you're striving to do better as you, that is where you can fulfill your potential to the maximum capacity that you possibly can. Okay, something that I talk about on my personal website, which I have a link in the description if you want to check that out, but something that I talk about in my website is self-development. Okay, a lot of people... They focus on the development aspect of self-development, but they completely neglect to acknowledge the self aspect of self-development. They think about elevating themselves, but they don't focus on elevating themselves. Okay, they want to be better. They want to be the best version in somebody else's eyes, but they're not happy and at peace with who they are at the foundational level. Okay, they're trying to build upon the broken foundation to get away from the foundation. But what you'll find is that Eventually, the building will collapse because there's no foundation there. The foundation is you. It is you being secure within yourself. I'm going to tell you guys a little story about something that happened to me maybe a week and a half or two weeks ago. So a couple weeks ago, I went to Houston and I visited my sister and her boyfriend. Shout out to them for showing me a good time. But before I left, okay, it's a four hour drive, but before I left, I found some time to film a video. Now, at that time, I was still kind of in that weird gray area between writing and filming videos, just trying to rediscover that passion for not just filming videos, but for being a creative in general, finding that passion to be boundless and to express my fullest inner potential. And I took the time to film that video, but I didn't have enough time to edit the video. So I filmed the video and then I hit the road. Okay. Now, four hours later, I'm in Houston and I'm with my sister and her boyfriend and we link up with one of their mutual friends. And they all take me out to this bar. Now, I'm 22 years old, but I don't drink. Okay, for those of you who are unaware, if you're new to my channel, if you don't know much about me, I don't drink. I am straight edge. I don't go to bars. I don't go to clubs. I don't do that type of stuff. That's more of the type of stuff that they do. Okay, they're more into the bar scene and just having fun in that way. That's what they find fun. And they wanted to introduce me to their way of having fun, which there's nothing wrong with that. If you like going to bars and clubs, then that's cool. But Nevertheless, we went to this bar and it was the first time I ever went to a bar just for the sake of going to a bar. Usually when I go to a bar, which is very few and far in between, I could probably count on one hand the amount of times I've done that, but usually when I do that, it's to maybe catch some type of event, maybe an open mic, and it's almost always to support a friend in some way, shape, or form. I'm never just going there under my own accord. But I went to this bar with them and we were playing all of these bar games, okay? We were playing darts and beer pong except with water because I don't drink. We were playing pool and just all of these different games and stuff. And it was pretty fun. 
Okay, it was fun, I have to admit. And it was also fun to see other people around my age. Okay, this is the most exposure I've had to people who are in my age range, probably since I moved out, probably since I dropped out of school, maybe even since I graduated from high school. Okay, it's been years since I've been around this many people who were in my age range. And all I could think about in the back of my mind as I'm going through these activities was how badly I wanted to go back to the hotel and edit this video. Okay, that is all I could think about. And don't get me wrong, I wasn't being a Debbie Downer, I wasn't trying to kill the vibe or anything, but around 11.30, they started talking about bar hopping, right? And even though I didn't necessarily know what bar hopping was, I was able to put together the context clues, okay? Bar hopping, going to multiple bars back to back to back to back. And I was already getting tired from being at this bar for probably an hour, an hour and a half at most, and playing these bar games. And like I said, all I wanted to do at this point was go back to the hotel and edit this video. And I told them that at midnight, I had to go back to the hotel and edit this video. Okay, I decided to go ahead and set those boundaries and let it be known that the night was going to have to end prematurely. They could go out and do whatever they wanted to do, but I needed to get back to the hotel and they were my ride. So. At midnight, they take me back to my car and I go back to the hotel. I take a shower, probably at about 1.15, 1.30 a.m. I sit on the hotel bed in my underwear with my laptop and I edit this video in one go. And when I tell you that the feeling of catharsis that I felt was next to none, okay, this was the most relief that I felt in a very long time from working. Not because I finished the video, okay? I wasn't even supposed to film that day. The reason why I felt such a great sense of relief is because I found myself. I found myself in that moment. In that moment when I was in the bar and I decided that I wanted to go back to the hotel and edit this video because that would be more fun to me. Not because I'm addicted to work, but because that's my idea of fun. I find that fun. I find that fulfilling and enjoyable in the same way that they find bar games fulfilling and enjoyable. In that moment, I found myself. I found myself and by extension, I found my passion for YouTube. And that really, really connects with something that I just now heard Tyler, the creator say in his interview in Paris. I have a link to that interview in the description below. But he basically said that a lot of times in order to find yourself more deeply, you have to step outside of yourself. And that really, really resonated with me and it really brought up all of the feelings that I felt when I was in that bar and I just felt completely out of place. I felt completely out of place being around people who are my age and for all of the times that I've talked about how the city that I live in is mostly older people and I wish that I was around people my age, truth be told, I don't really resonate with a lot of people my age. Okay, I'm on a different wavelength. That's not to say that I'm better, that's not to say that I'm worse, I'm just different. I have my own unique path and that's okay. Okay, in that moment where I made the decision, the executive decision to tell them that I needed to go back to the hotel to edit this video, I found myself and I found my peace. I validated myself. I gave myself the validation by telling myself that I'm different from these people and that is perfectly fine. I realized that I don't need to apologize for loving what I do. I don't need to apologize for being in love with my purpose, for prioritizing my purpose over momentary fun, okay? Because for me, like I said earlier, work is fun. Writing, working on my books, that's fun to me. Making these videos, this is fun to me. Okay, I'm not even supposed to be filming this video right now. I already filmed my video for today. I already checked that off of my itinerary. And yet here I am in front of this camera talking, why? Because it's fun to me, okay? Whenever I have these insights, I want to share them with you guys. That's fun to me. I find finding the secrets to life and sharing those secrets through the lens of my own observation and my own experiences, fun. That is my idea of fun. And that is an expression of who I truly am. Okay, and like I said, Tyler, the creator, he's definitely helped me shape that version of myself that I know I could be. Because in learning to be myself unapologetically, I'm giving myself permission to not only be myself, but to act in accordance with myself and do the things that need to be done on a day-to-day -day basis to progress as myself. Thus, the term self-development comes into play. 
Okay, I am self-developing with every single day that I choose to be me, that I choose to be my authentic highest version by doing the things that I find fulfilling, even if it comes at the expense of my social life or even if it comes at the expense of being around other people who are my age who don't really resonate with me. That's fun to me. This is fun. And once you learn to find those aspects of yourself that are truly representative of who you are at the core and you give yourself permission to embody those aspects of yourself, that is when you will find inner peace. And that is when you will have the permission to live your life in the way that you truly deserve. You know, I didn't realize I loved LA so much until I wasn't there. I didn't realize like, why do I feel weird? Oh, cause on the East Coast, they get real winters and you don't see the sunlight for like a long time. And in LA, it's always sun. Why do I feel claustrophobic when I'm on the East Coast? Oh, cause it's tall buildings and it's one way streets. But so when I go home, I appreciate, oh, that's why I wear shorts. That's why I like saturated bright colors because of how I grew up. And yeah. I think in order to figure out like deeply who you are, you gotta kind of get outside of yourself.